What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon. Today I'm going to show you how to color skin with Copic markers. So first off I'm going to show you guys how to color light skin and then I'm going to show you how to color dark skin. So the colors you'll need to color in the light skin tone will be E21, E11, and E13. And then when I show you how to color the dark skin color you'll need E23, E37, and E29. So with that being said, Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do for this light skin tone, I'm gonna take E21, cause that's my base color, and I'm just gonna color in everything here. Minus the eyes, I'm gonna make a, a line here, just going outside of the eyes. And then I'm gonna color everything outside of that portion, I'm gonna color that in. Okay, and now I'm gonna take E11, I'm just going to go over the outer regions of this uh, entire colored area. Like this area over here would be some shadow. And then I'm going to add sort of like a mid-tone shadow over on this side as well. But the darkest shadows will be towards the left. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to apply a lot of this mid-tone towards the left-hand side. And also underneath the eyebrows. And anywhere else that could need some shadow as well. And underneath the neck and do the same thing for the neck and we add lots of mid-tone to the left hand side and a little bit on the other now we're going to go back to E21 and just blend everything back in now that that's done we can go in with our E13 and just go over the darkest parts we're not going to apply too much shadow to it. So, again, the shades will be on the left hand side. So, we'll concentrate on just the left hand side. And then also beneath the neck, that's going to have a lot of shadow down there. So, we're going to add lots of shadow right here beneath the neck, but we're not going to add a lot of blends to it because there's lots of shadows there, so we wouldn't need to. Okay, now let's go back with our mid tone, which is E11. And then blend E13 back into what we just created. And then I'm just go over the uh, eyebrows again and do that same thing. Anywhere else that you might need to add some shadows. And then to finish it off, we're going to go over everything with E21 again. And there, that's how you color in light skin tones. So let me transition to the other head so we can get started with drawing dark skin tones. Okay, now for the dark skin tone, the base color I'll be using will be E23. So we're just gonna do what we did earlier. Just color in everything, minus the eyes. I'm gonna add a wet layer for, I'm gonna add a wet layer for the markers so, so it'd be easy to add the shades, or easy to blend the shades actually. Okay, now I'm going to take my mid-tone, which is E37, and add some shade. Again, they're towards the left. I'm going to keep that like that. And then we can also add a, a little bit of shading towards the other side. We're going to add lots of it on the left-hand side. On the neck as well. And don't forget beneath the eyebrows. Okay, now we're gonna go back with our base color and blend it back in. Okay, now I'm gonna take my E29. I'm just gonna go over the darkest, darkest places, which is again towards the left hand side. And right beneath the neck is where the darkest sh uh, shades will be. So we won't need to do anything with that portion. But right here, we can add some blends there. Don't forget up here. And now we can work our way backwards and use our mid-tone to blend in that darkest tone. Okay, now that that's all blended, we can go back in with our base tone and finish the job
So that's how you color skin with Copic markers. If you liked today's video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.